Hey, it's Tini Yagani, and you're here in the booth, and I have a very special guest with me. Go ahead and introduce yourself. And who else do we have with us? GDHD. And where are you guys from? I'm from South Baltimore, Cherry Hill. First of all, I gotta ask you, where, where did you get the name? Um, my father named Victor. Victor? So, yeah, but my nickname is not like fit to be a rapper name for real, you feel me? So like I had to come up with something. So I just took Lil Chalk and just ran with it for real. Well, it seems like it's doing pretty good, so. All right. How long have you been doing music? Uh, since I was in the ninth grade. Uh, uh, Gita ex be introduced me to it for real. Okay. Now, if you don't um, mind. 18. Really? Wow. Okay. And um, so you've been doing this since ninth grade. What made you want to get into music? I know you were kind of saying him, but like, what, well, what inspired you? Well, I've been singing since uh, I was younger, for real. Like, I've been on the choir in elementary school. High school, I was on the choir for like two years. But then I just like stopped being on it because I got transferred, for real. I ain't really feeling it no more, for real. But he uh, brought the rapping part into it for real, for real, because he rap and he nice. So, me and him ran into each other at school. And then, since that day, we just been click tight for real, real straight. Put it in me, and then I straight just took it and ran with it. Okay. So, what do you what do you like better, singing or rapping? Um, I like I like both for real, but I really like singing the most. I like singing the most, because like, all the bitches be really like, oh my God, that girl, what y'all, you feel me? Like, yeah, I like singing. I don't really like rapping, it's cool, but yeah, I like singing. I want to put you on spot a little bit. You think you can, you can sing a little something? Just mm -hmm. a little something real quick? I don't know, it's something about you. I love everything about you. Girl, I think about you all the time, yeah. Said you fab on my mind, you fab on my mind, you fab on my mind, shorty. Yeah, said I don't know, it's something about you. I love everything about you. Girl, I swear you got me hypnotized. Said you fab on my mind, you fab on my mind, you fab on my mind, shorty. Okay, all right, well then. That was good, that was good. But as far as the rapping, though, we'll get into that a little bit later, put you on the spot, get you in the booth. But you've been getting a lot of buzz right now on YouTube with the whole video with uh, Worth the Wait. Yeah. So, how do you feel about that? Uh, Well, Worth the Wait, that's just like the promo video for my mixtape for real. It's about to drop. Hopefully it's gonna drop this Thursday. It's supposed to drop this Thursday, so yeah, hopefully it's gonna drop this Thursday. And where can we find that? Um, well, it's gonna be a CD, and then like in a couple weeks, probably like three weeks, it's gonna be on Spinrilla, like that Piff, probably live mixtapes, and of course it's gonna be on YouTube. Okay. And yeah. why is it worth the wait? Cause uh, it was a long time. People been waiting for me to drop for a long time for real, but like it's fire. Like everything on the on the tape is like just all bangers. It ain't no only songs on there, they all bangers. Like, I really put, yeah, put that work in. That feels up. So it sounds like it's definitely worth the wait. Yeah, it definitely, definitely is. Definitely. So, as far as you go, you want to give us a little bit, a little background on yourself? Uh, yeah, you know, like, I met Chop when I was at ninth grade in City, for real. Once I, once she heard me rap, then I let her know, like, what the movement was, like she understood and we just took off from there for real now. Ain't no stopping for real. So you do a, you do some rapping too? I don't do some rapping. Well, you, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we might bars we might be able to get you in the booth too? Yeah. Okay. And what do you have coming up? Uh I got 
Well, I got a couple songs out right now. I got um, Michael Joe and I got Fuck It Up and I got um, a song with my own boy D-Boy. Oh, okay. Uh, it's called um, Bob. Okay. You can find all those on YouTube. And then I'm waiting I'm waiting on the drop. What? Is it drop? Yeah, I'm waiting to drop Drop Dead. I got Profit on there. I got uh, Flames on there. I got Jada Kiss and I got Styles P. You said Jada Kiss and Styles P. Yeah. Okay, you making some big moves, yeah, okay? I got them, all right. Right. <laughs> we got them niggas going back and forth for real, so. What, what was yeah. that yeah, like working? Making them boss moves for real niggas yeah. just be sleeping on us. It was so cool though. When that dropped, ain't no stop. Yeah. What was that like working with them? Man, it was like, it was like on some, not on those starstruck shit, but on some starstruck shit. You had to feel shit. a little bit. I mean, those yeah, are like some major like people. Them the niggas I grew up listening to. Right. You feel me? So just getting to be in the same area with them, on the same song with them, like, mm -hmm. the same fucking camera lens with them, like, <laughs> I was just like, it's just a blessing for me. Did you get a chance to meet with them and do some music too? Oh, no. Is it coming? No, it's like, it's like two different routes for real, like G to E on that old hip hop or whatever, whatever, yeah. I'm kind of like a new school name for real, so like, no, we ain't even. Okay. Even cross names or nothing. I don't know. I, I could see you maybe like singing a hook on one of their songs, getting a verse, and I could see it too if you good look. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna get to our drink of the day. We'll be right back. No chat to the one one. Can't nobody cover only one to get the job done. Shedding tears with my niggas this year I done lost some. While I'm at it, I just that I should let you know. Sorry that the tape is a little. drink of the week in dedication to our special guest we have a chocolate teeny this week you can also make it a shot first you want to get like a chocolate vodka we got three olives you can do like a diving vodka just make sure it's chocolate they want to mix some um, creme de la cocoa mixer in there you can do like a chocolate milk or a half and half drink then you want to put it in a shaker with some ice mix it up and let's see if these guys are ready to take a drink Drink of the week. How do you guys feel? Are you all right? You, you took yeah, it like a champ. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. <laughs> feel you know? good? Yeah. Okay. Well, back to the interview. I got to ask you. A lot of people are calling you the Baltimore Days Low. How do you, how do you feel about that? Um, it's cool for real, I guess. You feel me? Like, I just take the negative and just turn it into positive. Like, I just... Just take all of it and just turn it into positive energy. Like, I don't even be tripping. Like, whether people be trying, like, you know how people be like, you trying to jock our style or whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. you feel me? I heard that before for real, too. But, like, I just be in my own lane, doing my own thing. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. No, I mean, she, not at she's all. been popping, but you definitely have your own sound, though, at the same time. But I think, I guess, because you, you know, you're rapping and you're singing, and a lot of people aren't doing that. So maybe they compare it. They could be comparing you to somebody worse. So, you know. That's a good thing, definitely. So we're going to take a moment. I'm going to put you on the spot right now a little bit, both of you. I want to know, you know, because you're in the hip hop scene in Baltimore. Who are you feeling right now in Baltimore? And who are you maybe not feeling in Baltimore? I ain't going to say who I'm not feeling. I don't want to start no shit for real. But um, I'm fucking with 
I'm fucking with Fame Boy Tay right now. I'm fucking with my man's D Boy right now. And I'm fucking with YBS Schooler right now. Okay. Yeah. And Zach got some hot shit out right now, too. Okay. And what about you? Mm. I'm fucking with Izzy right now. Um, I'm fucking with uh, Sneaky T right now. Okay. I'm fucking with uh, Peso the Mafia right now. Uh, G to HD right now. D Boy. <laughs> Juice World, you feel me? I'm fucking with all yeah, my niggas my right fuck, now. Uh, my fuck, man. Shout out Juice World, man. Uh, who else? Who else is that? I be staying like kind of behind the scenes for real. I don't really be into like that, but like a couple niggas that I know. I'm fucking with Skola right now. Yeah, he nice. Free Young uh, Moose, I fucks with Cho. Yeah, Moose too. Uh, who else? I'm fucking with Davo right now. Definitely fucking with Davo. He definitely doing his thing, putting on for the city. You feel me? Uh, who else? I don't know, I can't really name you name, You names a lot yeah. of names. That's good, though, to be from Baltimore and showing love, because a lot of artists don't so much. I mean, what has been the hardest thing about being a hip-hop artist in Baltimore? Um, just the fact that you don't know whether you're going to be dead or alive today or tomorrow. Like, that's yeah. the only thing. Like, you don't even know if you make you know the there's a bunch of niggas out here hating, you don't know who know who, you just, I just be standing out the way now, like, you can't trust nobody for real, like, I don't trust nobody for real, only my niggas, that's it, I don't trust nobody, that's the only thing, like, watching my back, that's the only thing I be, I don't like that, I just want to live free, you feel me, like, feel free to do what I want, come and go, all that, I be having to watch my back, I don't like that for real, plan on getting out the city, though, that's what it is. Okay. Well, you got you got a great positive attitude, though. I gotta, I definitely gotta give you that. You guys just definitely showed a lot of love to people. That's definitely dope. Um, so we're gonna play a little bit of hip hop trivia. I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit. A little uh, nervous. No. You ready? Like what kind of hip hop trivia? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. We're just gonna do three quick questions. We're gonna see how well you know hip hop. I'm gonna give you. A line or two from a song, and I want you. I'll give you a multiple choice. Don't be trying to look on my cue cards. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the choice, and then you just let me know. I, I saw that. I saw that. Okay. So the first one, the Kanye West song "Can't Tell Me Nothing" is found on what album? A. The Graduation. B. Late Registration. Or C. Jesus. I think it's Late Registration. Final answer. Yeah. You wanna try? No, I don't listen to Kanye West. Not at all? No. Okay. Well, it's actually the graduation. Close, close. All right, I'm gonna give you a line from a song, and I'm gonna give you three choices. So the lines are, them boys up to something, they just not bluffing, you don't <laughs> got your, almost. Who you, don't know that? See, I had to do something easy for you too. What song is it? Kevin Gates, Willie Really, Drake and Future Jumpman, or Future Wicked? All right, there you go. And the last one, this is kind of for like you classic hip hop people. Name three members of the legendary hip hop group NWA. Easy, Ren, and Q. Okay, there you go. Not get it? Not yeah, bad. that was easy. Let's clap it up for you. The first question you didn't even know. See, that's because good yeah. niggas don't listen to Kanye. Everybody <laughs> likes Kanye. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you know. Who has been some of the artists though that inspire you guys? Uh, Baltimore artists inspired me like to really start rapping. He mm. died though. Rest in peace, G Rock. You feel me? Okay. Rest in peace, Two Clocks. Okay. Yeah. And what about you? Um, you talking about already in the industry? Yeah, in the industry or in Baltimore. Drake. Drake. Okay. And why Drake. why do you like Drake so much? Um, he just different. And he don't care what nobody gotta say about it. Like the weekend too. Yeah, I fuck the weekend both of them. Definitely the weekend, definitely Drake. I fuck with both of them. They inspired me a lot. I listen to their music a lot. Okay. So what do you guys got coming up right now? Um well, besides my mixtape, about to drop, um, I'm going to hit the studio, you feel me? Cook up some more hits. My, my tape going to drop, and then it's going to drop my spin miller. For real, hopefully, uh, it do a couple numbers for real, hopefully. You have any shows coming up? Um, I just had a show. Well, I had two shows last week. 
And then I don't really know. I don't think I got any kind of shows coming up. Not that I know of. Okay. How do you how do you get prepared for a performance? And mm -hmm. what can we expect from a performance? You seem like you got a lot of energy. Um, you say how do I get prepared? Yeah. Well, I come prepared already. You feel me? Like when you in school, you learn it. You better mm -hmm. come to school prepared. You feel me? So. I took that from school and I take it everywhere I go. You better go anywhere you going prepared. Like I had to come here prepared to be in front of a camera, you feel me? Not camera shy, none of that. So when I go to my shows, I gotta be prepared. Not, I mean, I get myself prepared by knowing that it's gonna be like a bunch of fans and they right. they like me because of they, they because they like my songs and they like the way how I carry stuff. So I just carry it like that. Right. I just carry it straight like that. And what, what, what will we see in a performance from you? Like um, what can we expect? Yeah, of course, never, never drive. You always hear the crowd going wild, always, especially with that run up on me. You feel me? Yeah, that's like a hit for real. Everybody like that song. So every time when I perform run up on me, they know the words for real. Right. Yeah, they be crouchy. Gotcha. And what about you? My shows, they be cool for real. They be cool for real. A lot of people don't I mean, know me yet. For that's real, just, so. that's just, I yeah, know there's more to it than just they be cool. Yeah, I get prepared. A lot of weed, a lot of smoking. <laughs> you feel me? Just my niggas and play whatever song I'm performing. I listen to that motherfucker all day. Well, we're going to get a little bit of taste from the both of you in the booth. So let's get to that and we'll be right back. G to HD, slow beat on you. Uh, uh, I heard the niggas sleeping on me. Time to wake them up, bro. Put the same tape and all the niggas still cut, bro. I ain't looking deep and I'd rather stack bucks, though. But don't think a nigga scared to let the fans bust, though. No, I never hear that. You'll hear that go red and clap. That's what that fuck nigga give when I bring in my cheddar pack. Nigga in love with the money. I swear I be so attached. If that fuck nigga won't beat that nigga, know where I be at. I'll be right here with the point. Laughing like it's funny, all the way to the back, I'm going hard in the paint. Nigga hating on me cause I'm going hard in you hate. Free my niggas that be poking on me, dog with the shank, but I catch a charge every time a nigga on the beat. Cause I be killing everything for the niggas beat. I remember every day I used to run the street. Dirty clothes, we ain't handle so powder and bleach. It's all good, you know I'ma tell the truth. They say real recognize real. Who the fuck is you? You a fuck, nigga, give him a gun. He won't shoot. He say y'all in the field, but he ain't got proof, nigga. Keep me rushing around the way. 
Instagram at Chalk underscore HD, Twitter, Chalk underscore underscore HD, that's two underscores, Facebook, Lord Chalk HD. It's G to HD, you feel me? I got videos with Jada Kiss and Styles P coming out. Look out for Drop Dead. You can find me on YouTube under anything G to HD. You can find me on Twitter, G to underscore HD, and on Instagram, G to underscore HD. And that definitely was probably one of the dopest performances we've had on the show thus far. So definitely make sure you check these guys out. Definitely show a lot of love. They're from Baltimore, too. And you've been on the booth. 